Hi, let me just quickly show you how you can replace uh, Agilent or Keysight U1173A infrared data cable board. Uh, this has to be done if you are working on 64-bit Windows 7 and above since uh, originally cable uses obsolete prolific uh, serial chip. For this operation you will need Agilent's uh, data cable and my AGIR board. I will leave a link in the description uh, explaining uh, how you can make uh, this board yourself. To open a cable you will simply need uh, to place something thin into back of the case. I personally just use my fingernail. And as soon as I'm in, I just pull it apart with both hands and it pops open. Notice that Agilent did a really nice thing here and placed the connector at the end of USB cable so we can just pop the old board off and place the new board in. So now uh, we need to place a uh, board onto pillars. So you will notice that one uh, side of case does have pillars and another one is just empty shell. So we just carefully place the board, aligning it uh, until it doesn't move anymore. We place the cable relief that's the important part to align and we just snap the uh, case uh, shut. Uh, now this cable uh, has a new board and supports everything that FDDI chip supports which is pretty much uh, any Windows, uh, uh, any Mac OS, uh, all versions of Linux, pretty much everything. Uh, lastly, I have noticed that uh, Keysight does offer a new cable U1173B. That cable officially claims Windows 8 support and I haven't personally tested it, but I believe they did get, they did get it right and uh, that this mod is uh, no longer needed with it.